Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of Are You Dying to Know? Because Trish is dying to know. I am. And our gorgeous Carl is dying to know. Look at that sport and the best hat out ever. He's looking cool. Uh, Cal is cool. Uh-huh. Cal yeah. and Mal. Cal it and Mal, is. Mal and Cal. Yes. Hi guys. How is everybody? <sighs> Hope they're staying safe out there. I hope, I hope so. they're looking after themselves. I hope you are looking after mm, yourself. I hope you are. I really do. Because um, we, we need you all to look after yourselves. We've got a good story. I want to tell the story. There's a good story. Is it? I like the story. This is sweet. I oh, like the story. I like stories. Come okay, on. so we received um, a little story from Miles. Oh, hi, Miles. Hi, Miles. Hi. Miles tells the story of when Mum passed away. Yeah. And mum was a big lover of shoulder pads. Um, and so... It was early 90s. Early 90s. It? Yeah. Must have been around that time. Yeah. We all loved shoulder pads back then. Hush. Some women just wore them better than others. Yes. And I think Miles's mum was one of those. Okay, yeah. Um, shoulder One pads. of those ladies. Um, yeah, so Miles's mum liked her shoulder pads. And when she died, the family decided to make sure that the mortician had some shoulder pads to put in for mum Ooh. so mum could go off to her final resting place with well, shoulder pads looking good looking cool and when they went to have the viewing of mum the shoulder pads were not on mum's shoulders they put them on mum's breasts <laughs> because they thought that they were I guess chicken fillets oh you know, they like to fill up boobs up fill oh up my boobs god my thumbs so a sad story but a funny a story. story. Thanks for that, Miles. Um, oh, I got a bit of a chuckle out of that because it's an honest mistake, I would think. But um, yeah, it was mortician. Probably, I, I probably would have thought, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Perhaps. Have you ever had a situation where you've received something and you weren't quite sure? Yeah, I've had outfits where I'm not quite sure how they go on. I've gone, oh, that, mm, you know, and then have to like go around asking all the other staff, going. Do you know how this works? <laughs> this, like, because they're strappy there's straps or there's or there's wrap around and there's stuff like that. It's like, you know, when it when when I have traditional dresses, you know, um, say so when I get somebody like with a sari or something, and I don't know exactly how because I know there's a it, there's a certain amount of folds you have. There's rules. The fold, and, yeah, and it's hmm. got. So I can look on YouTube for that, but sometimes people have outfits that obviously are just. Well, you some know, of my active wears like that. Sometimes yeah, some, I go to put it on in the morning in the dark, getting ready for a run, and got my head in my armhole. Or I don't you know, know how to put it on. So yeah, yeah, I've had a few outfits like that where I'm going, oh. And sometimes I've even got the uh, arranger seat. So you're gonna have to ring the family to make sure I put this on properly. But I'm, you've never had a situation where the family have come back and gone, oh, sorry to say, but you did this. Not that I can remember. Not that I can remember. Okay, no, well that's pretty so, cool. Yeah, luckily, unless they have and they haven't said anything. Oh. And they just tell the story later on, like Miles has. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Miles told the, the funeral home or oh, not. Oh, I don't know. You should tell. Oh, that was lovely. No, Thanks, Miles. Nice. Thanks for Thank sending you. that in. Yeah. Okay, so, Tracks, the saga of Johnson continues. So not only did we do a shout-out to Johnson, because Johnson said Johnson was our biggest fan, and I'm being very careful with my pronouns at the mo At my pronouns? That's the right word, yeah. isn't it? My pronouns, because Johnson is a lady. Uh, Johnson messaged us and said, Female Johnson here! And we must have said he or him or yeah, his or something. Yeah, we said he, and she, and she keeps messaging she, so it's really cool. I think it's cute. <laughs> so anyway, we've got to be a bit careful how we do this. But yeah. then someone saw us do the shout out to Johnson. Went, hang on a minute, my name's Jeremy, and I'm your biggest fan. Yeah. So now we're going to do a shout out to Jeremy. To Jeremy. Hi, Hi, Jeremy. Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy may or may not be male, may or may not be female. Yeah, Doesn't we're... matter. But Jeremy we're... says Jeremy is our biggest fan. And so. We're not assuming male, female. So hi, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting us know that little yeah, detail. That's lovely. You. And we've got another question, Trace. This one's from Sandra. And hi, Sandra. Sandra. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hi, Sandra. Sorry, I'm the one being rude, not you. I should say hello to people. Hi, Sandra. I Thanks always, for the question. Wait, see, I just did it again. I always talk over you. It's it's okay until you go to edit the video. I need to teach you how to edit because then you'll realise what it's like when people talk over each other because you can't use both bits. Well, I do it too. We're both as bad as each other because we've just got so much to say. But anyway, um, Sandra. <laughs> Sandra. Sandra. Uh -huh. Something really interesting. Oh, 
I know. Sandra wants to know what the difference is between a mortician and an embalmer. Are they the same thing? Are they different? If so, what are the differences? That's an interesting question because I don't think we've actually said that. I don't think we have. Actually. That's quite a simple question, but we go yeah. blah, blah, blah all the time about embalming and morticianing and things. Mm -hmm. But there's a definite line there. There is. And I think one can be the other, but the other can't be one. That's right. Or maybe they can both be each other. Well, yeah. <laughs> What's the answer to the question? I'll just stop talking because I'm just confusing everything. <laughs> okay. So uh, a mortician... Uh, a mortuary tech mortician is a person that um, prepares the deceased for the uh, in the funeral home um, but don't have the skills to embalm because they're not an embalmer now you have to have uh, as a mortuary tech you can be trained on the job in Australia in us sorry in, in Australia, Australia you can be trained on the job so you can be say you're a funeral. and you were yeah, a funeral assistant uh, helping out on the services, which I was, and I wanted to get in the mortuary, so I went in the mortuary and got trained to be a mortician. So basically, I had a, I was lucky I had a bit of background skills in hair and beauty and also a bit of a medical skills working um, for the blood service and, you know, in uh, pathology collecting samples and stuff like that. Not a pathologist, by the way, just working in pathology. Uh, so I had a bit of a, you know, a bit of a history background that helped me a bit. Um, but you don't have to have any qualifications. You still do a lot of work, you know. I, like I, I went from the basic mortician and how to prep a face to reconstruction, you know, rebuilding and all of that and reattaching stuff. And it still involves embalming chemicals. Yeah, because you use them all the time like that. That's what you prepare a body with, with the basic body prep as well. But if you want to embalm a body, you have to be an embalmer and that is a course that you have to do here in Australia and I know it is in America because you have to go to mortuary school to uh, be an embalmer. And here it's a similar thing where I'm studying, I'm just about finished, yay! Uh, and it's a, a nearly a three year course. So mine's been online and distant and distance anyway because of the COVID, it had to go distance. So I And you've travel. got the lovely Melissa as your mentor. mentor and I yeah. will point to the video that yeah. we did with Melissa yeah. when she was talking about being an embalmer. Yeah. So you have to have a qualification as the embalmer to be, you know, classed as an embalmer and be an embalmer, but a mortician, you don't. You know, you just can't embalm bodies. Uh, because you have to have that qualification. So in the situation where someone is a mortician, a mortician yeah. um, and a body needs to be embalmed, you would call in someone like yeah. Melissa, who yeah. is a qualified contractor who comes in yeah. and works in mortuaries where they don't have their own embalmer yeah, to do the job. A lot of uh, funeral homes don't have their own embalmers and people like Melissa will go in and they'll embalm the body and then the mortician will then finish the prep. The, the prep. So hmm. the mortician will now do the dress and the makeup and the presentation in the coffin. Because know, they're so. two very separate things, yeah. aren't they? The yeah. embalming is actually just a chemical process that doesn't, yeah. it isn't really cosmetic. It's just a preservation. It's a preservation, hmm. you know. We need to preserve the body. So it's about preservation and um, sterilization and doing that. So, yeah, they're very different. So you, you can be... A mortician all the time you don't have to embalm i never wanted to be an embalmer it took me nearly 10 years to be to then want to do my embalming course because i kept saying oh, i don't really want to do it i don't really want to do it i don't think i need to but then circumstances change and i went okay so i am and i'm nearly finished now and so it's good and i'm pleased i've done it because now i've got that qualification so i'll go from the mortician to the embalmer yeah, you know, so there's a difference, but you don't have to be an embalmer if you don't want to. Hmm. But you would have to call embalmers in to do, obviously, that embalmer that work. work. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's a difference. Thanks Back for the question. question. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Cal, what's happened what's to your head, happened? mate? What's happened to your head? Let's put it that way, so we can see your lovely eyes, because they're just beautiful. Here I am talking to that skeleton again. Okay. Got another question. Another question. Oh, it's so exciting. Jeremy oh, from question. Denver. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy from Denver. From Denver. I've been to Denver. Have you? I haven't. Oh, I know John Denver. <laughs> I don't know him. Well, I know of him. John yeah. John Denver. Yeah. I couldn't tell you anything you sang. Yeah. yeah. I'd know it if you sang it. Yeah. Denver. Um, Denver's really lovely. I've been. Excellent. 
It's beautiful. Is it? Yeah, it's that Denver, stars. Colorado, the mountains. Oh, fab. Lovely. We watch a lot of trail runners actually on yeah. YouTube who run around that area. Yeah, it's very it's big beautiful. Area beautiful place. Beautiful. Anyway, Jeremy. Okay. Jeremy would like to know how many bodies have you prepped? Do you keep count? All right, okay. Yeah. Oh, there's a big question. I suppose over the last two and a half years of my embalming course, I've embalmed 60 bodies now, wow. 60 in a couple of years I've been doing my course. Well, um, you have got to have so many case studies, which is 30 case studies, which is 10 autopsies and 20 naturals. So I've got all of them. Plus I've been obviously still doing them with my mentor and I've done probably about 60. But overall, um, right, oh, it's a difficult one because I haven't kept count of uh, all the bodies I've done. But um, I suppose, um, I suppose we could average it all out yeah. uh, on my days when I, I was very, very, very busy to, you know, days where it's quieter and when you have reconstructions, which take a good few weeks to do and stuff. So I probably work, we'll probably have to, you're good at maths, aren't you? We'll I'll work, work it out and I'll put a number up here. It'll yeah. only be a guesstimate, but yeah, um, a it's, it's hard to but tell without. I would say it's quite a few. Hmm. You know, over the over a couple uh, of different workplaces. Yeah, mm. over the uh, time period, but I would say quite a lot. Yes, it's a good question. Very busy girl. Yeah, I should actually have kept numbers. I never thought about that either. No, we're so. too busy getting them done. Yeah, too busy doing them. So, a well, great question, Jeremy. Thank you. Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, I think. Are we done? I think that's it. I think we're done. I think we're done. All right. Yes. Well, that's till fair. next time, guys. Yes. Till next. Stay time. Stay safe. Yeah. Take care. Like, subscribe, share with your friends and uh, keep the questions coming in because we love it. Take care guys, till next time. Bye. Bye Carl.